guys. Um, so a common thing that I heard from Patty while we were gone was that Morgan um, is very jumpy is the terminology she used. Um, and by that, I think she meant like easily distracted, easily um, bothered by her surroundings and little things in it. Um, I didn't really experience that personally with Morgan. Um, I definitely sensed a little bit of tenseness around my cat, but that went away. And I also obviously had her spook two times, which was due to a dog walking outside, um, which I can understand because to me it seems like she's had a bad experience with a dog somewhere in her past or somehow associates them very negatively. Um, but I haven't experienced the jumpiness. So I am going to start working on desensitization training and I'm going to do it first in case she doesn't take to it very well, but if I can open her world to desensitization, which I've done a little bit with the tea stand and other things, um, then Patty can learn to do the same thing and start implementing that as its own little training session. Um, so I'm gonna go grab Morgan and see how she does with it. Alrighty. You wanna try this? I have. I have treats for you. Make sure this is recording. Yes, it is. I have treats for you. And we're gonna work on a little something new, okay? Yeah, I know. So, we're gonna pick something from this drawer. We're gonna see how you do with it. This seems kind of scary. Ready? Let's do this. This is just a gummy bear um, mold. What do you think about that? That's rewarding for her coming close. It's rewarding for her not caring about it. Yeah, you can touch it. You want to touch it? You come to the other side of it. You can touch it. Just a little bit. treats out of the picture just good job good job now I don't want her attacking new objects I just want her touching it yeah I'm definitely making it like scarier than I me too, I'm pushing her. Good job! So she got three treats for that. That was a really great initiation on her part. So as you can see, like it's not like she's terrified of this. She's just uncomfortable enough that it could be an issue. And I need her to be more desensitized than that. Good job! To your wave, man. What happened to your wave? Give me your wave. Ah. Yeah, I want your wave. See, see? Give me a wave. Oh, that's a good wave. That is a good, good wave. Let's see if we can get a better response on this wave, because some it's not good. Give me a good wave. Give me a good wave. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Good job. That's a good wave. Okay, do you want to go back to this? Is that scary? Nah, that's not scary. That's not scary. What is that? Good girl! I totally held it in my clicker hand. Good girl, good job! That was a great
great one. I was waving it, flopping it all around, and she was cool with it, man. That was great. Okay. Good. See? You're just getting rewarded for being great with this weird thing, huh? Good. Good job. Okay. Normally, I say just one new thing a day, but I'm going to switch it up because it's the same thing, but different color. Oh, good job. She moved away just a tad bit like it was scary. So we're going to do a couple more reps and be done. Good job. Good job. Good job. Keeping your weight. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Yeah, girl. Cool. So we're going to start with Morgan. One new thing a day. I technically did two. Like, it's the same thing, but it's a different color. So... Yeah, but cool. She's not scared of it. See? Meow. It's not going to affect anything. It's not like she's loving it, but she she's not affected. Like, would this keep you from coming to me in a training session? Can you do it? Good job. Good job. Come here, girl. So I'm including jackpot rewards in this and you have to for desensitization to make it worth it because they're literally overcoming their fear. Even though it's a tiny bit of fear, it's a tiny bit of discomfort, you have to reward greatly for that because I would wanna be rewarded greatly for overcoming my fear as well. It takes a lot more bravery, doesn't it? Have we worked on um, petting? I know, now you're waving. Oh, you have not, yikes, what was that? I don't remember seeing that. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to, um, what's it called? When you um, go back to something? Can't think of the word, I'm so jet lagged. Hmm, okay, let's see if you do it with the treats involved. So this is a trick, okay? This is a trick. Good. That was a good trick, huh? Yeah, we're gonna do some conditioning to touch. She just seems a little um, high strung. That's, that's okay. I need some cream help though. Huh? What are you looking at? Ignore you, you're gonna ignore me. Oh. Not gonna give me a lift. Give me a lift. Good job. Okay, she seems a little high strung. I'm going to end it. What? Yeah, let's get your attention. Hey guys, Jamie Lee here. I just wanted to clarify a few things from this video. Um, how I would normally tell somebody else to introduce one new thing a day to their bird would be a little bit different than how I did it here with Morgan. Um, I know Morgan and I know how much I can push her. So I did it probably a little bit more aggressively and um, progressively than I would recommend for somebody else. So what I normally tell other people to do is to take that new object, say it's a pen, um, if this is a new object, and this is the surface the bird is on. Place it on the surface in a very non-threatening way. So don't go, here's a pen, check it out, the pen. You don't wanna make it all crazy. You wanna just be very, very calm about it. So it's like, hey, look, and put it there, see if natural curiosity kicks in, and they just come check it out on their own. Um, and if they do, then that's great, and you can click and reward and get over it really quickly. If they don't, then you can simply use the target training stick to get them to do it. What's up? Okay, so as I was saying, um, so just make sure that you do it in a non-threatening, non-bold like bold way. Um, until your bird is really, really used to this, then you'll know how much you can push and how you can go about introducing. Um, but you wouldn't want to like flop that thing around 
as much as I did if your bird showed signs of being more scared of it. So since when I first brought it out, there was no change in Morgan's demeanor, I knew that she didn't find it exactly threatening, but I knew that I could make it uncomfortable and then get her past that discomfort, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to, to be sure to clarify this because I don't want, um, I don't want other people to be like, I'm gonna introduce one new thing a day and just kind of like be a little overbearing about it. When um, we did this with our African Grey Cressy because African Greys are known to be like phobic uh, naturally, I remember I first introduced a chapstick to her and she was terrified, like completely terrified. Now it's her favorite thing ever. It's actually really annoying because she ruins them. But, um, you know, just take into consideration your bird's body language and um, please be able to identify how much I pushed Morgan in that session. So um, yeah, and doing the touch training or the target training around new objects is really great because if you can get that bird to bump it with its foot, you can reward. If you can get it to make eye contact with something scary, you can reward. Um, if it just starts to go close to that something, you can reward. Um, if you can get it to step on, over, around, and then just eventually be totally cool with it, using targeting is a great way to do that. Um, so yeah. I hope that clarifies it and makes it so that it's something that you can implement and use with your own bird. We really recommend strongly introducing one new thing a day and that is, um, that's to just make your bird more desensitized and less negatively affected by things overall in the environment. All right, so it's been a couple days since I did desensitization training with these things with Morgan. So I'm gonna bring her in with these already on the counter and see how she does. Good job. I'm just gonna let her initiate everything. My clicker is really quiet in my pocket. <laughs> so she understands like touching it and stuff gets the treat, so she's coming over. <laughs> She's such a clever girl. I'm gonna flop and put the blue mostly on the red. She's still touching just the red, which is kind of funny. That was the blue. <laughs> All right, that's too easy for you. Just her coming close. I think she's going to come touch them, but. Good job. Wow. seeing the difference just no fear or discomfort today easy peasy for you see if green makes a difference absolutely not hey it matches me it matches you too so again not attacking just touching Desensitized to that. That was easy. 